Let's get right to it. Our first guest today is Natalie DeMarco from our title sponsor, Tycon Partners. Hello, Natalie. Welcome to the show. Hello. Good afternoon. Nice to be here. Oh, it's so nice to have you here. You know, Tycon does so much, but one of the things you guys specialize in that we talk about on the show, and I it I can't stress how important it is for new companies and, and old companies, giving them the opportunity to do things they were never able to do before in raising capital. Can you give me an overview of what the Reg A Plus offering is? Sure. Um, Regulation A Plus, or better known as Reg A Plus, uh, it, it's an alternative an alternative, I guess I would call it, to a traditional IPO, which makes it easier for smaller, earlier stage companies to access capital. Uh, And it's both companies in Canada and the U.S. So looking to encourage small business growth, in 2012, Congress passed the Jumpstart Our Business Act, better known as the Jobs Act. And it's a law intended to support small business growth and employment, by lowering the regulatory hurdles for companies trying to go public and allowing companies to have more private shareholders. So in two, uh, 2015, they, they um, you know, launched it uh, under Title IV of the Jobs Act. It went into effect, and it allows companies to raise money and offer shares to the general public, and not just to accredited investors, to non-accredited investors too. So it's a wonderful opportunity for small mid uh, mid-sized companies who have revenues up to fifty million uh, to raise up to fifty million in a twelve-month period. So tell me about those companies because I see a tremendous opportunity for the smaller business to really be able to make some advances by getting extra capital. What is what are the companies that are a good fit? Well, basically, companies that are already generating revenue. That's not really for a startup. Um, oh, okay. Companies that have revenues, or it could be, uh, you know, a biotech who sure. has IP, et cetera. So um, you do have to have revenues. Uh, is there a is there a time limit? I mean, if it's a new co- a company in that's been in business only for one year, does this is there is what are the regulations like as far as filing, and do you have to have a certain amount of uh, years of uh, accounting done? Well, there are two tiers to Reg A+. It's Tier 1 and Tier 2. Tycon Partners, we only deal with Tier 2. So we're looking at companies that have, typically the companies that we deal with are over a million dollars in revenue at least. Mm-hmm. Unless, again, I, like I said, it's a biotech company. Um, and because we list our, we take our issuing companies, clients, um, instead of listing them on the OTC, we help them list on the NYSC American. And the NYSC American has, has their qualifications. Sure. But I, th- I think, you know, we have talked in the past about the companies and Regulation A+. But what I'm really excited is how this is all evolving and how it impacts the investor. Because we've talked about, you know, the impact it's had on, on companies. Right. I think what's really interesting is to flip that around and and focus on um, during today's conversation is is the investor and and how is this having an impact a positive impact on investors yes um, if I may oh no, no. I, I mean it's so important because these guys that have been left out before and hadn't Absolutely. been able to play in that arena tell me how mm-hmm. it affects that investor well again regulation a plus now this has been going on for two years, and Tycon Partners and my, my partner and I, Glenn Bierman, we've been following this and doing a lot of due diligence and R&D. In fact, the first 12 months, we, we just did complete our, you know, research and development, um, and then we started taking on clients. And what's interesting is Regulation A Plus is open to not only accredited but non-accredited investors. And so for the first time, a non-accredited investor has an opportunity uh, to participate in an IPO because really that's what Regulation A plus is. And that gives them real opportunity. Can you give me the definition of what an accredited investor and a non-accredited investor is? Sure. I mean, the down and dirty of a definition of accredited investor is someone whose net worth, either alone with a spouse or with a spouse, 
um, exceeds a million dollars, not including the equity in his, you know, their primary residence, or someone who has earned more than 200000 or 300000 with a spouse for the past two years um, and reasonably expects that type of income to continue. A non-accredited investor, obviously someone that doesn't meet that criterion, um, and who earns less than two hundred dollars annually, or three hundred, or less than three hundred with a spouse in the last ten years. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, in two years, and the criterion that Regulation A plus puts on a non-accredited investor is that they're welcome in. They they can participate in this new era of Regulation A plus IPOs but they can't invest more than 10% of their annual um, income or their net worth. Oh, okay. I see. So, but the, so that, I guess, the minimum, and how to, who regulates that, and, and, and well, how easy is it for they, they, that investor? The, well, that, you know, when an investor comes to the table, whether they're non-accredited or accredited, they're asked questions, and they, they have to fill out a questionnaire. That's required. That's a compliance issue, because certainly you want to mitigate risk Absolutely. for a non-accredited investor. You don't want them, you know, investing half of their net worth. <laughs> so that's why they they put that ten percent criteria. Well, Natalie, in. we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back and talk a little more about the Regulation A plus offering. You've been listening to CEO Money with Natalie Demarco from Tycon Partners. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to CEO Money. Before the break, we were discussing the Reg A Plus with Natalie DeMarco from Tycon Partners. Welcome back, Natalie. Thank you. So, Natalie, let me ask you a question. What is a client when they come to you? What is the top three questions do they ask you about trying to do a Reg A Plus? What do you tell them? Well... The, one of the things they they want to you know find out they want to they've already know um, did their own done their own research obviously but they want to have our ex- experience and um, do they qualify is this something that they can afford you know because these are small and mid mid sized companies so it's something that they're very concerned about so we talk about budget um, cost and um, timeline um, success rates. Um, marketing, what's required from marketing. So, so those are those are typically the things, but there's so much more. I mean, it, I don't think there's a top three. I think it's probably a top 30. <laughs> no, I was thinking, you know, uh, as a businessman, if I was to come to you guys, and you guys, you know, you've done, the great thing is, is at Tycon Partners, you did your d- due diligence, and right. you did your homework on the Reg A+. And so, you know, you guys are kind of that leader in this space. And so I'm sure that so many people come talk to you and they go, what do we do? Are we right? Are we the right fit for right, this? Exactly. And so and, go ahead. and one of the things, uh, it, excuse me for interrupting. I, I was oh. just going to say one of the most important things that we look for is obviously good companies with a compelling story that's going to appeal to the general public. Um, it helps if they've already if they already have a following, but it's not necessary. I mean, it may be a little bit more challenging, but you know, it's it's more important that they're in a, um, a space that is appealing to the general public, that they have a compelling story, and they have a good company. Obviously, sure. One one of the companies, if I may give you a quick example, mm-hmm, um, they're in the clean tech space. So they came to us and we met them and, and we were looking to come in. We're, we just love this company. I mean, their story is beyond compelling and it really is the future. And when you look at the space that they're in, there's projections the global clean tech space is expected to expand to $4 trillion by 2020. Oh, my gosh. So you scratch your head and you go, hmm, yeah, they may they may be a good fit for <laughs> Reg A+. <plus." laughs> and, um, you know, they... They're not at fifty million in revenue yet, but they certainly want to get there. So, Natalie, uh, I because our segments are winding up here, and I want everyone to know how to reach you. you Tycom Partners. 
the, it is the company to go to. How can how can people reach you if you're that small business and and you want to look at the opportunities of a Reg A plus? Certainly. Well, you could go to our website at tyconpartners.com. That's T Y C O N partners.com, or you can call us at three zero five nine nine eight. 7090. Be happy to talk to them. Natalie DeMarco from Tycon Partners. We want to thank you for being on our show. And we sure appreciate it. Yes. Till next time. We'd love to have you back on and talk to you guys. You guys have been our title sponsor and uh, and a great support to CEO Money. So uh, thanks for all of that as well.